chaos is an inescapable part of the human experience. It arrives in many forms, sometimes as the roar of world events, the uncertainty of political upheaval, or the sudden shock of personal crises. Other times, chaos is quieter but just as powerful, manifesting as inner turbulence, anxiety, fear, or a gnawing sense of uncertainty. To understand how we might find peace in the midst of such storms, we must first examine how chaos impacts us at the most fundamental level, our biology. When chaos strikes, the brain's ancient alarm system springs into action. The amygdala, a small, almond-shaped structure deep within the brain, acts as our threat detection center. It was designed by evolution to keep us alive, to sense danger, and trigger the body's survival responses. When the amygdala is activated, it sends signals that flood the body with stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. This is the classic fight, flight, or freeze response, a surge of alertness meant to help us survive immediate threats. But while this system is excellent for escaping predators or reacting to sudden danger, it is less helpful in the face of modern chronic chaos. Instead of a short burst of fear, we experience sustained anxiety and exhaustion. Cortisol levels remain high, wearing down our immune systems and making it hard to think clearly. The brain, under stress, is also prone to cognitive biases, most notably the negativity bias. This means our minds are wired to magnify threats and overlook positives, an ancient survival mechanism that now makes peace feel elusive and unnatural. Yet here lies a key insight. While our biology may prime us for stress, peace is not out of reach. In fact, peace can be scientifically trained. Modern neuroscience has revealed a remarkable property of the human brain, neuroplasticity. This is the brain's ability to rewire itself based on repeated experiences. Just as repeated exposure to stress can make us more anxious, repeated exposure to calming, mindful practices can build new neural pathways, ones that favor resilience over panic. Practices such as mindfulness, gratitude, and calm-focused activities have been shown to literally reshape the brain. Regular mindfulness meditation, for example, can shrink the amygdala over time, reducing its reactivity. Simultaneously, it strengthens the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for rational thought, planning, and self-control. The more we practice calm, the more the brain learns to favor peace over chaos. This leads to a profound realization. Finding peace in chaos is not a matter of luck or temperament. It is a trainable mental skill, a form of resilience that can be built, strengthened, and maintained. But how do we begin this training? Science offers several biological tools that can help anchor peace, even when the world around us feels unstable. One of the simplest and most effective tools is deep breathing. When we slow our breath and make our exhales longer than our inhales, we activate the parasympathetic nervous system, the body's rest and digest mode. This counters the stress response, lowering heart rate and blood pressure, and creating a sense of calm. A practical technique is the 448 breathing method. Inhale for four seconds, hold for four, and exhale for eight. This simple act can be done anywhere, anytime, and has immediate calming effects. Grounding techniques are another powerful tool. When anxiety threatens to overwhelm, engaging the senses can help bring the mind back to the present. The 54321 method is a favorite among therapists. Name five things you can see, four you can touch, three you can hear, two you can smell, and one you can taste. This sensory engagement calms the hyper-aroused brain, anchoring us in the here and now. Physical exercise is also a biological antidote to chaos. Movement burns off excess cortisol, the stress hormone, and releases dopamine and endorphins, chemicals that boost mood and foster a sense of well-being. Whether it's a brisk walk, lifting weights, or practicing yoga, regular exercise acts as a pressure valve, releasing tension and restoring balance. Mindful meditation, practiced for even 10 to 15 minutes a day, has been shown to reduce the size of the amygdala and increase gray matter in the prefrontal cortex. By focusing on the breath or bodily sensations, we teach the brain to rest in the present moment, rather than spinning into worry about the future or regret about the past. These techniques reveal a crucial truth. 
we can intentionally hack our body's stress response. Peace is not a passive state that descends upon us. It is an active process, a set of skills we can cultivate. But peace is not just a matter of biology. The way we think about chaos, the stories we tell ourselves, shapes our experience just as powerfully. Cognitive science has identified several mental strategies that reliably foster inner stability, even when the world outside is unstable. Cognitive reframing is the art of changing how we interpret stressful events. Instead of seeing chaos as an overwhelming threat, we can choose to view it as a challenge, a test of our resilience, an opportunity to grow. This subtle shift in perspective has been shown to lower cortisol levels and reduce anxiety. Acceptance Commitment Therapy, or ACIT, teaches us to accept distressing feelings without trying to resist or suppress them. Instead of battling our emotions, we learn to observe them, acknowledge them, and then refocus on actions that align with our values. This approach helps us move forward, even when we don't feel entirely at peace. Ancient Stoic philosophy, now validated by modern psychology, offers further wisdom. The Stoics taught that we should focus only on what we can control, letting go of what we cannot. They practiced premeditatio malorum, mentally preparing for adversity by imagining the worst-case scenario. This practice lessens the sting of chaos by making it familiar, manageable, and less frightening. The key insight here is that perception matters more than circumstances. By changing the way we interpret and respond to chaos, we can cultivate peace from the inside out. Yet, even with the best biological and cognitive tools, humans are social creatures. Our need for connection is hardwired into our biology. Positive social interactions trigger the release of oxytocin, the bonding hormone, which lowers anxiety and fosters trust. Even brief moments of connection, a smile, a kind word, a shared laugh, can build emotional armor against chaos. The importance of relationships is underscored by the Harvard Grant Study, an 80-year-long investigation into what makes for a happy, resilient life. The study's conclusion was clear. Strong relationships are the single greatest predictor of long-term happiness and resilience. Even when chaos isolates us physically, virtual connections, letters, and group activities, online or in person, can provide the support we need. Social connection is not a luxury. It is a biological necessity. In times of chaos, reaching out to others is one of the most powerful things we can do to restore peace. Finally, purpose and meaning serve as shields against the storms of chaos. Psychological research, especially the work of Viktor Frankl, shows that finding a sense of purpose, no matter how small, provides emotional stability in even the darkest times. When we connect our actions to something larger than ourselves, chaos becomes bearable, even meaningful. On a neurological level, the act of meaning-making activates the ventromedial prefrontal cortex, a brain region associated with emotional regulation. With purpose, the mind finds order in disorder, a path through the storm. Without purpose, chaos feels random and unbearable. With meaning, it becomes a journey with direction. So what does the science say about finding peace in chaos? It can be distilled into a simple formula. Inner peace equals the sum of breath control, cognitive framing, social connection, and purpose, multiplied by daily repetition. In other words, your biology will always react to chaos with fear. That's natural. But you have the power to train your brain and body to choose peace instead. Techniques like mindfulness, cognitive reframing, nurturing social bonds, and building a sense of purpose are not just comforting ideas. They are scientifically backed methods to generate peace, even in turbulent times. Finding peace in chaos is not magic. It is a system, a biological, psychological, and philosophical system that you can build, like a muscle, with practice and intention. Every day, you have opportunities to breathe deeply, to reframe your thoughts, to reach out to others, and to act with purpose. Each of these actions is a small step toward peace, a way of teaching your brain and body that calm is possible, even in the midst of chaos. The storms of life may never fully disappear, but with science as our guide, we can learn not just to survive chaos, but to find peace within it.
The tools are within our reach, waiting to be picked up and practiced day by day, moment by moment, breath by breath.